Hi guys, this is the second part of this PrestaShop tutorial. In the first video, I told you how to install PrestaShop in your system using XAMPP or localhost. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about few important concepts like how to add categories, what kind of categories, how to add the hierarchy of categories, how to add brands, how to add attributes and features and how to add products. So let's get started. We have this interface. It is very user friendly. So on the left side, if I hover my cursor on catalog, it will show up further options. So first of all, let's click on brands and supplier. It will open up a page and let us to add brands and suppliers. So this page has been opened. Make sure that uh, you have these Apache and MySQL ready. And other thing that uh, let's say you have closed this URL from where you can open it. What you can do is you the front end you open is localhost slash and the name of your folder in your localhost directory. And after the PrestaShop slash you need to enter the name of your admin folder that will be inside your PrestaShop installation directory. So let me open that up and show you XAMPP, htdocs, prestashop and this is the folder. You need to copy the name of this folder and paste it after the localhost slash prestashop slash and the name of that folder. It will take you to the backend of this site. All right. So this is the page and we here we can add brands and suppliers. So for adding the brands, we can use these buttons. We can add the new brand. We can add new brand address. So let's add a new brand. These are the brands that were by default added uh, for us by PrestaShop while installation. Uh, we can add brands uh, from here. So name is required. So let's add a brand. I use glasses. Phonex is a brand of glasses and this was necessary. We don't need other things. We can add the logo for the brand. Uh, let's enable this brand and save it. And while saving it, it will let, let us to add this brand while adding the product. So same as the brand, we can add the suppliers to uh, and fashion supplier. The same supplier has been added by default. So we can add the supplier from here as well. So this is not uh, this is the thing that has to be learned later on. But what are the things uh, is products, categories, attributes and features. So this is pretty simple how to add brands and suppliers, but uh, I want to explain you what is the difference between attributes and features in PrestaShops. We have these things in other uh, frameworks as well, like WooCommerce or Drupal. So we have two tabs. First one is attribute. Other one is feature. So let's click on feature first. So these are the features that are added by default by PrestaShop. Height, width, depth, width, composition, style, properties. This can be customized value or this can be a drop down value. If I click on the height, then you can see that this is the customized value because it has nothing. And we need to enter the integer value while adding the product. We can uh, add as much features inside a product while we are adding a new product and all the features that will be showing up will be these things. We need to add these features before adding a new product if we want to add features uh, to the new product. So if I click on compositions, we can see that it has further value. So this is a drop down feature. Uh, we are restricted. Uh, to select these values if we want to add a composition feature in any product. So we can add a new feature value to this composition uh, feature or uh, we can also add a, uh, while adding a product uh, uh, in new version of PrestaShop, we can add a customized value rather than selecting these things. But uh, these are added uh, just like we want to add a feature size, uh, then uh, we can have uh, multiple values inside the size like a size of a shoes 40 41 42 43 uh, and so on so these are the predefined values so this is the feature that we can add uh, from here and that will be available while adding the product attribute is a thing that needs to be learned uh, if i give you an example like uh, we have this front end and if i click on any product let's say uh, this product so you can see that uh, it has size drop down and the color okay 
so these are from these attributes so if i click on small if i click on medium if i click on large and i can choose different color of the same product okay this is not a feature of this product feature is right here okay these are the features composition styles and it has only one value but these are the attributes and we can set a uh, individual value to each uh, attribute like for medium size and black color we can set a different price of this product for a product of size large having blue color we can set a different summary and different uh, payment value right here so we can set multiple things uh, with respect to these selected values okay so this this is the benefit of the attributes if i click on the size uh, it has a small medium large on size uh, if i click on shoe size uh, we can have these much sizes we can add further sizes to these sizes as well like from here add new value it will be added within this shoe size attribute okay and i'll later on show you once i will add the products that how we can use these uh, attributes in our Presto shop so this is how we can add the attributes and the features so this is the category so if i click on the category it has one category called woman if i go there and this is the category that has been added and it has subcategories tops and dresses if i click on this category it will show up the further hierarchy of that category tops and dresses and the top has further categories t-shirt and blouses um, and the dresses has further categories so we can add as much categories as we want okay so if i click on the home if i click on add new category it will be added parallel to this woman category okay and if i navigate to this page and if i click on add new category or add new category from here okay it will be added under the woman category uh, and will be parallel to these tops and dresses if i click on the tops then if i click on this add new icon and, and add a new category it will be added uh, in parallel to these subcategories so let's add uh, a new category click on add new while adding a new category we can also set uh, uh, the parent category from here so it, it has to be displayed by default so let's keep it so uh, we have clicked on the tops so let's say hat and we can select the home parent category it should be under the top so uh, let it uh, inside it we can add a cover image and we can add so many things so it has a, a friendly url automatically added and what this category should be accessible to we can have a visitor guest customers uh, so all the people without a valid customer account right here if people wants to uh, uh, add product to their cards they need to sign in okay so but uh, we can uncheck this visitor uh, that uh, visitor can also see this product without even signing in to this website okay so guest is a customer who placed an order with a guest checkout we can send a checkout or a coupon to someone and that will be a guest for us and that can see this category and all the products within this category we have a customer customer uh, is the one who has actually created a new account on this website and that will be available uh, to that customer so all these things are checked so let's save it and this new hat category will be added under the top and the top category is obviously added uh, under the woman and woman inside the home okay but we need to use uh, a module called a plugin in wordpress uh, that has that is being used for showing this main menu at the top of this website this is the default a uh, theme by added by presto shop uh, we can add further themes as well i'll show later on so this is how we can add a new category okay so uh, if i click go and click on the products then it will show all the products that were added by default by presto shop so let's wait for it until it open up the new product so these were the if i click on the this classic logo 
So these are the seven products added. If I go to my products tab, it has these seven products and it has the reference number, it has a category, summer dresses, blouses, t-shirts. So let's see the pre-added product first, then I will show you how to add a new product. 